Hey there, I'm Nicole King. I'm the broker owner of 41 Realty Group in Billings, Montana, and I am back again with Ian Ullman, and we're talking more about lending. Last week, we chatted about PITI, what a payment on a mortgage is made up of, but one of the things that we didn't chat about was PMI, another acronym. So, Ian, thanks again for coming. Yes. And uh, tell us, PMI, PMI, what is it? Uh, it is the is the amazing thing in the land of mortgage that nobody wants and everybody hates and they don't know why. Great. Uh, clients come <laughs> yeah. in and they say, I don't want to pay BMI. Like, what is it? I don't know, but I don't want to pay it. Okay. okay. So what it is and what it isn't. Okay. What it is, PMI is private mortgage insurance. So on okay. a conventional loan, if somebody has less than 20% down, they have to carry what's called PMI. So that debt needs to be insured mm -hmm. from default. Mainly, if you have less than 20%, the lending world says, you don't have as much skin in the game, it's a little risky, we want coverage just in case something goes bad. So it protects the lender so in case they don't pay their Correct. Payments. Okay. Yeah, it reimburses okay. the lender a percentage of the loan amounts if the loan were to go into default or foreclosure. Okay. Uh, so, and that's on conventional loans. There's variants of it on FHA and RD loans, but it's different because it's government insured. Okay. Uh, so we'll stick mainly to the conventional ones. So yeah, what it is is a either upfront, a monthly, or a mix of those two things charge okay. paid by the borrower. Typically, it's monthly, just because it's easier to come up with you know a certain amount per month as part of your payment yep. than it is to come up with uh, you know a couple thousand dollars potentially for an upfront one-time payment to not have it monthly. Okay. All that to say. Those individual options with your lender absolutely have those conversations. Yes. Because sometimes, like for my wife and I, it made sense to do an upfront MI versus a monthly, saved us a decent amount of money over the long run, which is nice. And still protects the lender. They still get the insurance. Yeah, the insurance is yeah. still placed. Okay. It's just charged differently. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's kind of nice there. It's more or less like if you if you buy a car cash versus if you buy it over payments, there's a different. You're paying a different amount. Yes. Depending on how you buy it. Okay. Uh, total. So yeah, so that's PMI. Uh, you have to have it typically it auto cancels at 78% actually loan to value as we call it. Meaning okay. if you started it, say 10% down, so you have 90% loan to value. As you're making regular payments, extra principal payments, once you get at or below 80%, you can typically request it be removed. You wanna be sure to read your specific lender's PMI agreement yep. at closing yep. and prior to ideally, uh, that walks through all that to yep. know when you can request that be removed at which point if it's part of your monthly payment, that goes away and brings your total monthly payment then down that amount moving okay. forward. And there are some loan types that you, it's like a loan. Correct. Right? So okay. an FHA, that's a straight FHA guideline. If an FHA insured loan uh, has less than 10% down, it has MIP for because it's not private, it's government. So it's mortgage okay. insurance premium, but it's similar okay. concept uh, for the life of the loan. If you do 10% down or more on an FHA loan, it falls off after 11 years, regardless of your loan to value. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But again, everybody's financial situation is unique. Everybody's loan is unique. Everybody's, you know, the interest rates are going to be different. Everybody's everything is so unique. This is just one more thing that, like we said in all the other videos, it's really, really something that you have to find out for yourself with your lender and your particular situation. It is not something you can just hop online and Google the, the information and get the answer that really is going to apply to you. So again, contact your lender. Ian's a great option. Um, get a hold of your lender and your specific situation to find out PITI, PMI, MIP, whatever we're going to call it, right? All the acronyms find them out for you and your particular situation. Thank you so much again for coming yes. in and we will see you guys in the next video.